as dreamers do, Olivia the Ostrich. Oh yes, you know us. But then sometimes I find myself looking up at the stars and I realize, oh, oh, no, 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 that's a planet. <laughs> Well, there are quite a few planets floating around out there. So are you looking at a star? Are you looking at a planet? And which planet? You're already on one of them. Planet Earth. So are you ready, Earthlings? Just checking before we start. Eight little planets going around the sun. Could these little planets be having so much fun? Eight little planets with the sun at the center. Does each one wish it were a little bit better? Better. Old slow Neptune looks a bit behind. Orbiting the sun takes an awfully long time. But the eighth little planet doesn't need to worry. It spins on its axis in a really big hurry. That's Neptune. I see Uranus seems really quite shy. It looks a bit weird spinning on one side, but the seventh little planet still feels bold. It is pretty cool to be the most cold. Oh yeah, look at that. Uranus is wearing an adorable little hat and adorable little mittens and little booties. Hmm. Very nice, very cozy planet, although it's kind of icy, but cozy where? Silly old Saturn looks far too busy. All those moonlets should make a planet dizzy. But the sixth planet loves all those things. They help give the planet such beautiful rings. That's right. Saturn's the one with all the beautiful rings. Seven of them, I believe. Lucky number seven. Big stormy Jupiter looks way down with mass. Four octillion pounds is a lot of gas. Burp. But the fifth little planet doesn't feel down. Now with so many friendly moons around. Hey, how you doing? Hey! Hey, how you doing? I'm good over here. What about over there? Yep, good, all good. Yeah, all clear here. Yeah, that's a lot of company up there. Dry red Mars looks a bit rusty. All those storms can make a planet dusty. Excuse me. But the fourth little planet never sheds a tear. It has the tallest mountain of any planet here. Oh, that's good to know. Should you be into intergalactic mountain climbing one day? It could happen. Pale blue Earth should be filled with strife. It must be hard being home to all this life, 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 life. But the third little planet doesn't feel tense. It is quite proud to be the most dense. Hey, Earthlings, that's our place right there. We're the most dense. Fiery Venus must feel rather fraught. 900 degree temperatures sure are hot. I'd be fraught too. But the second little planet never cries. Mm -mm. It loves being the brightest planet in the sky. Plus everybody thinks that Venus is a planet of love. So, you know, she's got a good reputation going on. Super fast Mercury could sing a sad tune. Whoa, 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 whoa. It must get lonely without any moons. But the first little planet never feels bad. Being closest to the sun is reason to be glad. Eight little planets with the sun at the center. Proud to be unique. Nothing could be better. Eight little planets going around the sun. Being happy is what they are and ready for some fun. Look at that. It's a planet party. And we're invited because we're on the planet, so we have to go along anyway. So I hope you're ready. And you've got all your planets and a lot of true facts. And now we have eight little bonus facts. Neptune takes 165 Earth years to orbit the sun. That's a long time. Neptune is the slowpoke of the group. Remember that fact. Uranus is a very windy ice giant. Saturn has seven spectacular rings. Jupiter's great red spot is a giant storm. Well, that just tells me that it's always storm season in Jupiter. Let's see, Mars is the closest planet to the asteroid belt. Earth's surface is nearly 70% covered by water. That is a popular fact 
among Earthlings. Venus is the hottest planet in our solar system, and Mercury takes 88 days to orbit the sun. That's really fast. So that one is the Speedy Gonzales of the group, and Neptune is the Slowpoke. And that was your eight little planets. Did you like it, Olivia? Oh, did I ever? You know, I feel that my planet is Venus. Oh, do you now? I wonder why. Because everyone equates Venus with the goddess of love and beauty and art. And naturally, <laughs> who says love and beauty and art more than I? No one, Olivia. Absolutely no one. You are the artistic diva of Kid Time Story Time. <laughs> Oh, you didn't have to say that, but I appreciate it. Well, children, remember to always reach for the stars, look at them, admire them, and then sometimes realize, oh, oh, oh I was looking at a planet all along. <laughs>